welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. This is Martin, and today we're going to figure out how you find the price for things that you're looking for, whether it's a set, a part, or minifigure, anything else on BrickLink. Okay, we're looking at the home page for BrickLink, and the first thing we're going to do today is look for a specific part. Let's say we want to find a 1x8 white brick. Okay, so we're going to look at the catalog and we are going to check into parts and we know it's a brick so in the category tree or the uh, type we're going to click on brick and we want to list with images and we start with one by one. This is an order by item name. We, we know it's a one by eight so we got to scroll down so bear with me as we find it. There it is, it's item number 3008. So let's click on the number. Now what it's showing us here is a few things. It's showing us the item number, the year released, the color. Uh, that's just the color shown. The uh, How many sets that it appears in. If you click view them, you can see every single set and you can see what colors are in each set. Um, it's gonna show us this column, lots for sale, this is every single one by eight for sale in all these different colors. And we want to focus on the price guide. So let's click on white, and that's gonna show us what this brick normally sells for and the average of what it's selling, or what it's for sale at right now. Okay, for the last six months, we can see the sales data. So we've got time sold, it's been sold 1,238 times. Um, average price, 21 cents and it's gonna show you each and every sale right there. So that's a lot of information. That's for the new, and we also have for the used. It's been sold over a thousand times. This is current items for sale. So with all this information, we can know that a new one by eight brick average price is 21 cents. Okay, so now let's go check a set. We're gonna go back to the catalog. We're gonna click on sets. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna check out a specific set. The one I have in mind is the Black Monarch's Castle. So we're going to go into sets and find it. We know it is in the castle theme and there's the Black Knights. Okay, it is going to be down here at the bottom, the Black Monarch's Castle in 1988, 632 parts. Click on the price guide and we can see the last six months, one of them has sold that was new for 1400 20 of them sold that were used for an average of $122.07. So that gives us a good idea of the market value of this set. And then we can see what's currently for sale. There's four people selling them right now, and these are the specific prices. So you don't have to go look at the lots for sale or the buying section. You can see the prices right here. It won't show you um, who's selling it, but it will show you each specific price from here. So this gives us a good idea of if we have this set or if I have this set, I can say, okay, well, this is what I'm probably going to be able to get for it. But what if I wanted to part it out? Okay, so let's pretend that we want to part this set out. Now, if you're going to be parting out a set that's old like this, you're pretty much nuts. So you normally you're only going to be parting out a new set, but we're going to go through the motions anyways. We're, we're going to part out the Black, Monarch, Black Monarch's castle. All right, so what we're actually gonna do is remember the set number, 6085, we're gonna click Catalog, we're gonna click Price Guide, and then in the part out value, we wanna type that number in, 6085, and we're gonna part out, keeping the minifigures as a whole minifigure. We wanna include the extra parts, and we're gonna say it's new, and click Get the Value. There we go. Average six month sales for all the parts sold individually is $252.84. Okay, the last thing we want to check out is the price of minifigures. Now what a lot of people don't realize is that the collectible minifigures actually come in two different ways. When you're looking on BrickLink, you can look for just the minifigure itself, or you can look in the sets, the minifigure as a set. So let's look at the difference right now. We're going to go over to the catalog. We're gonna click on minifigs and we're gonna go down that left side. We have the collectible minifigures. Let's check out series 11. We've got the Barbarian. Now if we click on the inventory right there, we see what he comes with. And we're gonna click on his number 
And then we're going to go over and click on price guide. And we're going to see last six months sales, average price of $3.34. Now, let's go backwards. Let's go back to that same barbarian, but now look him up in a set. And we'll see what the difference is. Down that left side again, series 11. And there he is, the barbarian. Okay, again, click on inventory. And the difference here is that now he is grouped together. He is a whole minifigure in a set. And again, you can split this up if you want to and you go through the price guide, you can part him out completely. But in this instance, he is a whole minifigure. He comes with two swords and this uh, modified tile. So hit the back button and we are now going to click on the number and see what the price is for that. View the price guide. Now he is $3.58. Let's go ahead and part him out. So uh, let's see, COL 11-1, catalog, price guide, COL 11, and we don't hit the dash one. It's already in there. This means he's number one in that series. All the other characters have a different number. This is where you would change that number. And again, this is where we can keep him whole as a minifig or we can break him apart. We're gonna keep him whole and we're gonna get the value. If we part him out, he's $4.82. This is why people part things out. You can see right then and there, if you sell him as a whole, he's like $3.50. If you part him out and sell him piece by piece, he's worth $4.82. So there you go. All right, so hopefully today's information was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Thanks to all you subscribers, and I will catch up with you next time.